A well-known business leader and philanthropist has lost his battle with cancer. Milton Wong died on New Year's Eve with his family by his side. As Deborah Goble explains, Wong leaves behind a legacy generations of Canadians can be inspired by. He had something that just made people so alive. It was really it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to know what made Milton Wong such a good man. No, it's my pleasure. He often gave credit to his country. I think Canada just allowed me to blossom and, and to be part of the, the mainstream. The son of an immigrant tailor, his parents worked hard and set a good example. He saw them in action, and he took it to heart, and he took it to another level. A level that made a difference in so many people's lives. He donated millions of dollars, but he gave much more than that. Uncle Milton's philanthropy was not about um, funding this project or that project. It was really about putting his whole heart into supporting something he really believed in. Curious, enthusiastic, supportive, and always encouraging. I think it's to do with being, as being the spark, drawing attention to something extraordinary, worthwhile, that maybe no, not too many people have... Uh, willing to invest in energy or, uh, or financial resources to it. When Milton Wong died of pancreatic cancer on New Year's Eve, he left behind a long list of accomplishments. A financial advisor who'd made millions, he also received the Order of Canada, the Order of BC, and a Vancouver Civic Award. He contributed millions to cancer research and SFU and the arts in the downtown east side. But it is how he lived his life that people remember. He had this ability to just connect with people right away and he would find what most excited you, what got you up in the morning, and he would support you in making it bigger. To Milton Wong, everyone mattered. So what he would do if he couldn't provide the funds, he would take time with them to become involved and make suggestions about how they might proceed with their dream. And it was impressive how he did that. Now, there was a little catch in this. Sometimes he would get so enthusiastic about his own th enthusiasm he was hooked. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Vancouver.